long long time ago a region prospered like never before this was happening in the area of modern day tamil nadu and that is why this golden age of tamil history is known as sangam age which was there from 600 bc till 300 ad so for almost a thousand years so during this point of time there were a lot of developments in all different spheres especially all of this was happening between the cholas of kaveri patnam the pandyas of madurai and the cheras of vanji and there were developments in all different spheres especially in the sphere of language and literature that was created during this age and that is why this period is marked by literature and language and the word sangam signifies the assembly of poets and scholars it was so important that this entire era is known as the sangam age so this age was so important that it is also known as the golden age of tamil history now this era is once again divided into three phases the first or telai sangam which happened here in madurai the second or edai sangam which took place in kapadapuram and the third or kadai sangam which was once again in madurai now how do we know so much about this well it happened so many years back well we know so much about these because of the sources that we get from this period the sangam age so these include the literary sources and the archaeological sources about which we are going to learn next most of these sources from the sangam age available to us belong to the third or kadai sangam age the third sangam age now since the sangam age is signified by its literary works literature and language therefore the literary sources are much more important among the literary sources we get a very significant book known as the the tirukkural written by thiruvalluvar so what is there in this book well it is the earliest set of maxims or mottos which emphasizes various aspects of our life it is also considered to be one of the most important literary works and therefore it is translated so that people from other languages or other dialects can also understand what's there in this book not just that it is organized into three main sections with 133 chapters now each of these th- 133 chapters has 10 couplets which makes it a total of 1330 couplets and each of these couplets is associated with a specific subject so let's see what these subjects are so the subjects discussed in this book ranges from how to plow a field for a farmer to how to rule a kingdom so this book has rules and regulations for a farmer to a ruler and that is why this book is of so much significance the next book or the next literary source that we come towards is tolkapiya written by tolkapiya so what is there in this book well it consists of three books soladikaram ezudadikaram and puruladikaram and it is again considered to be the most authoritative treatise in tamil grammar rosodi and culture so these three books are then divided into a total of nine chapters now take a look at this picture here what do you understand well at a point of time there lived some people here they were known as the megalith people why because they were building such burial grounds which were known as megaliths so what exactly are these well megaliths literally meaning huge stones were used to mark burial grounds and you can even find other things buried here so let's learn more about this but first let's answer a question well what are these megaliths made of huge stones big trees bushes or grasses and flowers the correct answer is that megaliths are made of huge stones now several goods have been found under the megaliths 
which suggest that people believed in life after that so just like people living in the egyptian civilization these people also believed in life after death because tools like weapons plows sickles have been found buried under the megaliths so like we said tools and weapons have been found so what do these things tell us these things tell us that their main occupation in that sangam age was hunting agriculture and fishing lastly tridents or trishuls have also been found buried under such megaliths so as you can see here shiva is holding a trident so we can once again also understand from this that these people maybe were devotees or worshippers of lord shiva with that we come to an end of the sources which tells us a lot about this sangam age sangam age was there in india from 600 bc till 300 ad and all of this was happening in the southern part of our country with the cholas pandyas and chera the sangam age is considered a very important time in indian history don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free on deltastep.com or download the delta step app and get easy access to more than 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubts resolved instantly learn via games and get a chance to win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy it's rewarding too so Register for free now.